Hi, Justin Timonary here, Certified Executive Chef with the Florida Department of Agriculture with my friend Liz today. Hello. And we've got some amazing fresh from Florida produce that we're going to help start your Cinco de Mayo celebration a great way. And we're going to help you by making some guacamole. Mm. Now guacamole is, it's one of the major food groups in Florida. It and really we enjoy is. it on Cinco de Mayo and all year long. And that's why it's so important that we protect our avocado trees from pests and disease so we can continue to enjoy this wonderful dish. And speaking of wonderful dish, let's kick it off. Let's get started. I'm All right. Food. Sounds great, Liz. All right, so we got our Florida guacamole recipe that we're going to make. Mm -hmm. And we've got some amazing ingredients here. We're going to start with a little bit of cumin, our first ingredient. We're going to start with our aromatics because we want to build our layers of flavor. and We want to get these flavors going and be really bright and tasty when, when we eat our guacamole. So Sounds great. A little ground cumin we're going to start with. Put that in. All right, and I've got a little bit of fresh garlic here, and this is kind of cut up diced really fine. You can dice it larger if you like, or even put more or less than if you like. You know, you really need to make these recipes, kind of take them and make them your own. They're just kind of a guideline to get you going. So you can add more, a little less, dice it more, a little less. Absolutely. The vampires away. That's right. <laughs> okay. That too. Most certainly. And then we got the cilantro here, beautiful herb. It's gonna help really give it some good flavor. Go ahead and put that in. And of course, what would guacamole be without our lime exactly. juice? Exactly. A little kick there, huh? That's right. This is gonna give it this acidic taste and this kind of Latin flavor. It's really gonna, gonna bring all the other flavors out. Sink into mine. That's right. <laughs> So we're squeezing these in here. We're going to be careful not to get any in our eye because okay. it'll burn. It will. Now, how many are you using? Um, I've got two two lines here. You okay. can always use a little more or a little less. I like mine nice and acidic, so I'll go with two limes. You're, you're hardcore. Yeah, that's okay. it. <laughs> and I've got a little hot sauce here. And then this is a Florida-made hot sauce right. made with some daddle peppers. Um, I'm going to put this in. Just it's not a lot of hot sauce because it can make a real difference. That's right. Depending on the kind of hot sauce you like and how much you like to add and stuff, and, you know, just depending on how spicy you like it. Mm, I like it spicy. Me too. <laughs> All right. Now I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit of salt and pepper. We want to season it. Our guacamole as we're making it mm -hmm. so we have good flavor throughout. Nice and fresh ground. And then we're going to go ahead and give it a stir. We want these all these flavors to start mingling together. And, Kind of coming up before we add some of our main ingredients. We're going to sort of marinate right now, right? That's right. Okay. This is kind of marinating up. All right, well, let's go ahead and add the rest of some of our ingredients here. We got our beautiful Florida bell peppers here. I like to use red and yellow. It's going to help give our guacamole some great color. Got to have color, especially when in the presentation, as they say, when you're putting it out on the table, right? That's right. Presentation is a huge part. We eat with our eyes before we taste. So it's important that our food not only tastes good, but it has to look good. All right, I've got a little red onion here. I'm going to go ahead and dice this up. Okay, now fingers are not part of the recipe, so you got to be careful here. Right? That's right. You really want to be careful anytime this is where you're working. you get your professional chef to come in. Yeah. <laughs> I'm always afraid to, to cut uh, things too fast like these chefs do. Well, it's just important to get your confidence in the kitchen and know your abilities and, I and do. go ahead I and improve on them. I know my abilities, and that's why you're here. <laughs> Okay, so we got this nice diced red pepper. We're going to go ahead and put this in our bowl. I'm sorry, red pepper. It's red onion. Red onion. Uh -huh. Give this a stir. And then one of our last ingredients, we got these nice Florida tomatoes. And I've removed the seeds from this, basically just the flesh. I noticed that. Why remove the seeds? Well, I like my guacamole to be nice and firm and chunky. And most of the liquid in the tomato is contained around the seed area. So oh. I like to remove that. It just depends on what kind of recipe. But for this one, I thought removing the seeds would be good. But you certainly don't have to. OK. We're going to go it's ahead and color. add that in. Yeah. And we want to give this another quick seasoning with salt and pepper since we have most of our ingredients in. And it's amazing that these ingredients are all like from Florida. I mean, they really we, are. We certainly grew our share. We get you your entire recipe here right, right in the state. That's, That's awesome. right. It's important to take advantage of some of these beautiful fruits and vegetables that uh -huh. our farmers are growing for us around the state. So this looks good. It looks great. A lot of color there. Absolutely. I can smell it too. It's wonderful. Yeah, you can There's smell those aromas. flavors. Tangy and, and starting to come up. Yeah, I'm getting my Cinco de Mayo on now already. Yeah, you are. <laughs> All right, now it's time for our key ingredient, the beautiful Florida avocado. You betcha, you betcha. Now, 
I noticed uh, that you're kind of squeezing it. Yes. How can you tell if an avocado is, uh, is ripe or not? Well, that's an excellent question. What we want to do is we want to go right around the stem area where it was attached to the tree. Mm -hmm. And we want to push it a little bit. It needs to have a little bit of give. We don't want it to be so solid that we're going to have a hard time getting it out and that it'll, it'll be tough. But we also don't want it to be too mushy. Otherwise, our, our guacamole will be just like a mush. So kind of a nice balance in between. If your avocados are a little too unripe, you put them in a, a brown bag and right on your counter and let them sit for a day or two and they should ripen up nicely. So if you see a brown bag sitting there, leave it alone. Yeah, okay. there you go. <laughs> All right, now to get into my avocado here, I'm just going to put it down on the board and take my knife. Just kind of work it all the way around. Mm -hmm. Kind of cut it right in half. Remember, there's big seed in the middle. Yeah. All right, let's take a look, shall we? Oh, beautiful. Gorgeous Florida avocado. I Man, I love it. I'm just going to take my knife, kind of twist around a little bit. Seed comes right out. Now that is handy. Yeah. I'm always trying to dig it out and I ruin half the avocado. I just learned something important today. All right. Perfect. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my knife spoon and I'm going to scoop the flesh away from the skin here. Mm -hmm. Just a, a meaty avocado then. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. That looks good. I'm glad you're doing the work though. <laughs> I get to eat it, but... This uh, is my favorite part. <laughs> that's why you're the chef. Yes. Right? All right, look how beautiful that's coming right taste. out. That is awesome. Just like that. Mm -hmm. We've got our beautiful avocados. I'm just going to kind of turn them over. And I'm going to go ahead and run my knife through them. I just want a nice medium sized dice in here. Okay. Is that also to taste? You can make it chunkier or less chunky? Absolutely. Yeah. Depending on the texture that you like, okay. you can make it larger cuts or smaller cuts. And also depending on what you're serving with. If you're serving with chips or, you know, as a side dish or to go with, you know, guacamole goes with so many wonderful things and, and really can, can make your, your whole eating experience. I make it my whole meal. Yeah, you certainly <laughs> with can. With all those veggies in it. That's right. It's perfect. Okay, put these nice diced up here. Beautiful. And then we're going to add this to our bowl. Okay. We've got this all in here. Now at this point, we want to just kind of give it a light stir and just kind of fold it around. We don't want to go too hard with our spoon as to to mash up the avocados. We just want to make sure they're separated and well combined and that they've been tossed and had a chance to get with all the flavorings that are in there. You know, in looking at those avocados, I think it's important to note that um, we really do need to protect our avocado trees, uh, as I mentioned, from pests and disease. And right now, they are threatened. Florida's avocados are threatened by a disease called laurel wilt. And uh, laurel wilt actually kills the trees, and it can also impact other trees in the laurel family, such as red bays. So there's one simple thing that people can do to help protect these trees, and that is they can use local firewood. Uh, you don't want to bring firewood in from out of state or move it around the state because firewood can harbor harmful pests and disease. So a very simple thing people can do is just to use local firewood and uh, help protect these wonderful trees in this wonderful dish. And so if you want to know more, if you're curious, you can go to uh, savetheguac.com. There's a lot of information about uh, saving our guacs on that website. Oh, that's excellent, Liz. I'll definitely make sure we'll make my firewood nice and local. <laughs> that's right, and then we can continue to eat more dishes yeah. like this. Well, let's go ahead and plate this up All here. Right. I'm just going to basically, yeah, put it right in here. My nice bowl, it's just garnished with a little bit of lettuce here. A lot of color, too. Beautiful, Beautiful. colors. You can mm. tell it's good and healthy with all those nice colors. Delish. The flavors in here. Yep. Now can I got some, in? you yeah. certainly can. I got some corn <laughs> chips here, right. some regular ones, and some first blue. Thing you put down. All right. I want to give this a try. This is gorgeous. Mm. And a little veggies too. Nice Florida veggies. I like to serve my guacamole with some veggies. You're very healthy. I try. <laughs> this is delicious. I'm going to go with the celery. Mm -hmm. Again, you can find out more at savetheguac.com. Mm. Unbelievable. Thank you. Thanks a lot.